Gold Wing Rider, a shadowy flight into the dangerous world of a man who is fearless, a young loner on a crusade to championing the cause in a world of reckless automobiles. These are my motor vlogs. What's up YouTube? This is your boy Chris and today I'm going to be talking to you about my Cena SM10, the Cena SM10 and I have been getting some inquiries and emails about what is the purpose of the SM10? What does it do? How does it work? So, I wanted to make this quick video and kind of explain to you viewers how the SM10 works and what it does and basically my SM10 is a wireless Bluetooth transmitter. It will allow me to transmit audio from my Honda Goldwing over to my Bluetooth helmet. You can have a Cena 20S or a Cena SMH10 or any non Cena Bluetooth. The SM10 will connect to any uh, wireless Bluetooth helmet. So basically the way the SM10 works is that you have to get audio from your motorcycle into the SM10. What most people fail to realize is that the Cena SM10 is not a Bluetooth receiver. You cannot Bluetooth your audio from your bike to the SM10. It can only be done hardwired only. You have to take the audio from your bike and hardwire it into the SM10. If you look at the SM10 on the top, you have three jacks. You have auxiliary, you have audio in, and you have a USB port or a mini USB port input. Now let me explain to you how you can connect to the SM10. If you have a telephone or a mp3 player all you need is a 3.5 male jack you can plug one in into audio in you can take the other end and plug it into your mp3 player or your cell phone now the audio will come out of your telephone only just not phone calls just music only because most people listen to music through their telephones so if you have music in your phone or if you have an mp3 player you connect one end to your phone and you connect the other end to the audio end on the sm10 you can now transmit the audio from the sm10 over to your wireless bluetooth helmet Now, on my Honda Goldwing, all of the audio on my Honda Goldwings come through the DIN cable. I take a special cable that I have for my SM10 and plug it into the auxiliary side of the SM10. Now, all of the audio from the Goldwings infotainment system comes through the 5-pin DIN cable it goes into the SM10 and transmit over to my wireless helmet. The difference between the free wire and the SM10 is that when the free wire comes out, it will allow you to talk back through your wireless helmet to the free wire and talk on your CB radio or the Honda Goldwing intercom system. The SM10 will not allow you to talk back. It's only a transmitter in a sense of transmitting your audio to your helmet. The free wire would allow you to transmit back to the free wire and connect your CB radio or your Honda Goldwing's intercom system. That's the difference between the SM10 and the free wire. And last but not least, we have a micro USB jack. And basically, you take one end of your micro USB cable you plug it in like so and now this is used to charge the unit its sole purpose is to charge the unit and also you can plug it into a computer system to update the unit 
That's the only purpose of the micro USB input jack is to charge the unit and to update the unit. The other two jacks is for audio in only. Most Go Wing riders have a wired helmet like I have here. You plug the wired helmet into the five pin DIN cable. All of the Go Wings audio will come through the five pin DIN cable and the rider can enjoy all of the uh, audio through his wired helmet. The SM10 eliminates the wire. I hope I explain what the SM10 does and how does it work. You're thinking that it can do things that it can't do. Maybe you think that your bike could Bluetooth from your bike to the SM10 and that's not true. It has to be wired in only. The audio can only be wired in. So I hope I cleared that up for you guys. Drop me some comments down in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. This is your boy Chris. And I will talk to you guys later. See you.